By the end of this video, you're gonna know four different ways that you could use AI in order to analyze and trade stocks and crypto. Because if you're not using AI to analyze your trends or investments, you're at a massive disadvantage right now because the people you're competing against are using these types of tools. But don't worry, I'm literally gonna walk you through exactly what you can do and the exact prompts that you should use in order to do what I'm about to show you. And as a disclosure, this is in no way, shape, or form financial advice. I'm just showing you what you could do with AI. Okay, so prompt and use case number one that I wanted to show you is this right here. You are a world-class financial analyst, AI, specializing in fundamental, technical, and sentiment-based stock analysis. Your goal is to evaluate whether a given stock is undervalued, fairly priced, or over price based on a holistic multi-factoring model. And then what you'll be able to do right here is insert what stock you want analyzed and the date of the analysis. We could see that I'm going to do this right here for NVIDIA and I am using today's date as a date. It's going to go through and this lists out step number one that it should do, step number two that it should do, step number three, step number four, step number five, step number six, and then if we come down here, it can show what the final summarized conclusion should actually look like. In addition to that, if we could see, once we actually put this prompt in, this goes through and asks us for four different things. What the report format that we want is, what DCF model assumptions we wanna use, what output deliverables we want, and the depth of the analysis that we wanted. And I went through and answered these with just very simple answers, and then we can see exactly what this did. The first thing that it did is went through and gathered NVIDIA's financial fundamentals and organized the data. The next thing that it did was went through and looked at the technical indicators and organized the findings. Then it went through and actually looked at insider and institutional activity. The next thing that it did was went through its position, valuation, and macroeconomic factors. We could see all the different searches that it went through and did here, and we could see that all of these are updated for November 2025 in what's coming in 2026. Then after that, this went through and did a sentiment analysis from multiple different sources. We could see that it did searching across things like Reddit, across things like different analyst websites, and it also went through in X's real-time search results and real-time search in order to actually do a full analysis. And then from here, we could see that this went down and this went through and started analyzing all this and actually building out a report. And then we got this comprehensive analysis right here and it also created a dashboard for us. So if we scroll down a little bit, we'll be able to see exactly what this looks like right here by clicking on preview. And then this is going to open up this dashboard and this is pretty incredible what this actually built out. So as we can see right here, this has this dashboard right here, but then also if we come over here, we could change it to see other specific things. For example, this is the executive summary right here. If we click on fundamentals, this will actually change over here and it will show us the fundamentals. If we come under to technical analysis, it will also change and we can scroll down and see everything that actually exists under here, which is quite incredible. In addition to that, they go through, they do a sector comparison, they do sentiment analysis, and it actually shows you what the different narratives are on social media or across different blogs and websites. They do a composite scoring, they do price forecasts, and they have investment recommendations and risks right here. And what's pretty incredible is now that this is actually created, you could have this come through and you could have it create something like this whenever you want to. So we could see right here that the investment recommendation does say that it's a buy, target is going to be $230 and it goes through the different investment strengths, key risk factors, catalysts. And again, I do want to emphasize this is not financial advice. I'm just showing you what you can do here with AI because in the past, it would have taken an incredibly long period of time for you to go through and do this much analysis. But now with AI, you could have this done literally in a few minutes. And it's not just looking at the fundamentals. It's doing searches. It's doing research. It's looking at sentiment and it's tying all those things together together to give you a good lay of the land here. But that was just the first use case that you could actually use this for. The next one is if we come over here and we click on tasks right here, you could see that we can have this go through and we can have this actually perform a task with Deep Agent. So I'm gonna click on Deep Agent right here and I'm gonna say, I want you to check if NVIDIA is under $180. Now, what this is gonna do is it's gonna ask us a few questions, we're going to answer them, and we're gonna see that all we're doing here is setting up a a very basic check. Now what I'm gonna show you how to do is have this go through and automate this, and you can even hook this up to one of your trading profiles, wherever you're trading, and it can send you 
by words. Basically, what you're going to do is take the research that we just did over here in this other chat, determine whether or not you want to buy something at a specific price, and then you're going to be able to use AI over here to actually go through, check the price, and tell you whether or not it's above or below the pricing target that you set, and you can have this scheduled out to happen multiple times a day, once a week, whatever your buying cadence or checking cadence is going to be. So it says no right here, and I'm going to say, please schedule this out to check every day at, I'm going to do 12 p.m. Eastern. And then what this is going to do is set this up. So as a task, this automatically goes through every day, 12 p.m. Eastern, checks, and then I can have it alert me over email, or I could have it alert me over Slack, or however I want to get alerted in order to know whether or not to buy it. Now what this does is takes the anxiety out of my investing, because I don't have to check anymore. It is very simple. Hey, this thinks that this is a buy at this price, and then hey, is it below or above that price so I can end up buying it? And we can see that now this has actually been successfully created and we can come over here and we can check and we can see that I have this task now running every day and it is going to monitor this and tell me if it's a buy. Now, before I get into the two other use cases that you can use and the prompts in order to use them, I wanted to remind you that if you wanted to use the tool that I'm currently using, you could get it at the pinned comment below. It's called Deep Agent and it's only $10 a month. On top of being able to analyze things like stocks and crypto, it could do so much more. In fact, you could get this to analyze anything that you want. You could get it to build out websites for you and it even gives you access to every single AI model that exists. I'm talking all the ChatGPT models, all the Gemini models, all the Claude models, and this tool can even generate images, videos, voiceovers. It can pretty much do anything that you could think of with AI, and it's an absolute no-brainer to get news, so please check it out at the pinned comment below. Now, the third use case and prompt that we're going to use right here is going to be for this to actually go through and determine if there are other stocks or other crypto trades that we should be looking at. Now, obviously, NVIDIA, I thought of that because I love AI. I know there's an AI boom going on right now, and I saw that there was a little bit of a correction, so I figured, hmm, maybe I could have this analyze this and see whether or not they think it's a buy. Well, in addition to that, I want this to go through and determine what other things I should be looking at. So we could see right here, you are an elite financial research, AI training, global market intelligence. Your goal is to identify the top alternative investments within a given category theme, evaluate their potential and compare them using multi-factor scoring model. So step number one, it's going to go through discover and categorize. Step number two is it's going to do a quantitative comparison for valuation and momentum. Step number three is it's going to do a narrative and sentiment analysis. Step number four is it's going to go through and actually do macro alignment and sector tailwinds. Step number five, composite scoring and recommendation, and it's going to assign different weights here. Then it's going to give me the summary and the output. Now, the only thing that I have to do is I have to come over here and actually change it. So investment category or name, I'm going to put AI slash technology. For geographic focus, I am going to put US in here. For target types, I am going to say all for investment horizon, I'm going to put five to 10 years. From here, we're going to accept this. It is going to then ask us a few questions and then this is going to go through and this is going to figure out other different stocks, different trades, different cryptos that I should be looking into that aren't already on my radar. So then this asks us a few questions here about risk tolerance, report format, data sources, uh, different inclusions, specific exclusions. So I'm gonna go through and just tell it I want it to be aggressive, PDF report, look where you think, only tradable assets and exclude NVIDIA because we already know about that. And now this is gonna go off and this is going to complete this. Okay, so now we can see that this has gone through, this is done, I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna download this and then I'm gonna show you exactly what this looks like. So. We're gonna download this, we're gonna open this over here, and we can see that this generated a 25-page report that identifies AI and technology investments across a bunch of different asset categories. So this went through and came up with six stocks, five ETFs, five cryptocurrencies, and three REITs, REITs, in order to actually look at this. Now, what we could go through is we could go through all of these different things right here, give us a symbol, the name, the asset type, the market cap, the sub-segment, and what its key advantage is. In addition to that, if we scroll down here, it actually goes through a lot more in-depth, a detailed investment profile and structure for each of these. 
It goes through the company overview, the role in its AI ecosystem, competitive advantage, different growth drivers, and what the investment thesis is. And it went through this for all of these different things. And again, it does the same exact thing for ETFs here. And then we, if we scroll down a little bit more, it does the same exact thing for different cryptocurrencies here. And then at the end of this, this goes through different sub-segment distribution analysis and different key investment themes and insights. And as you can see here, this is insane. The amount of time that it would have taken a human to be able to do this, you probably would have never actually done it, but this just revealed to us a bunch of different investments that fit our criteria that you might not have been thinking about because they might have been in a different geography, in a different asset class, or under a bunch of other different things that you might not have ever discovered. And now you could take this and do a further analysis with Deep Agent if you wanted to. And as we can see right here, this literally went through and searched for hundreds of different things before actually doing this analysis. Now, the last and most important use case that I have here is you are a world-class portfolio risk analyst AI trained in financial modeling. Because if you're going to be investing, you're going to be trading, you need to worry about risk before you worry about profit. And that's really important here. So we could come over here and we could see that we have to input our portfolio holdings over here. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to make some things up. I'm going to do 20% real estate, 20% gold, 20% uh, Bitcoin slash Ethereum, 20% uh, we're going to do equities, mainly technology, and then we're going to do 20% cash slash short term risk tolerance. I'm going to put again here, I want to be aggressive, say I am only 29 and have tons of time. Benchmark, we are just going to do a uh, well-balanced portfolio. Time horizon, I'm going to put, I'm 29. Personally, I don't ever want to retire, but I'm just going to put 30 years in here. Now, this is going to go through data normalization, portfolio metrics, individual holding, risk profiling. This is going to go through step number three, portfolio scenario stress tests. This is going to go number four, diversification and correlation analysis. Step number five, optimization recommendation based on our risk tolerance. And then it's going to give me a summary right here. And then this is going to go through and this is actually going to build this out. Now, again, we have to answer a few questions here, but once we do that, this will actually get to work and build us out this analysis and this report. And again, I think this is the most important out of all the ones that I'm sharing with you in this video. Okay, so I just have to answer a few questions here. We're gonna do current portfolio value, 4 million, equity holdings, VGT, crypto allocation, 90% Bitcoin, 10% Ethereum, properties, it wants to know where they are, so I just put the states here, and then whatever well-balanced is for the benchmark, and I'm telling it to use current market data. I told it that I've been in crypto since 2015, and the others since 2019, and now this is gonna go off. It's going to, with all these assumptions, do this analysis for me and determine whether or not my portfolio looks any good. Okay, so as we could see, this went through and this is done here. So we see an executive summary report here. It goes through a portfolio overview here. What I really like about this is it tells me how each of the different assets that I own actually contributes to all the different risk that I have. We have key performance metrics and we can go through and see that. We have a benchmark comparison. We have individual asset performance right here, correlation and diversification, different stress tests that can actually be run, portfolio optimizations and this goes through and actually gives me different actionable recommendations so this is recommending that i reduce my real estate exposure that i increase my gold allocation and that i rebalance my crypto allocation and then it gives me medium priority here long term and it gives me key risk factors here now this right here is incredibly powerful because now i have a lot more insight into what i don't know because when it comes to investing or trading or buying crypto or anything like that where you really need to focus is not on what you're sure about, but what you don't know actually exists because that's where the risk actually lies. And that's why AI is incredibly helpful for stuff like this. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I'd strongly suggest that you check out this video right here that shows you seven other AI tools that I personally can't live without. I'll see you over there.